I would like to give you another tip. I don't know if you noticed that I have all kinds of different tissues, but I always use this one on top. So what's so special about this tissue? Some tissues, they come colored, like here we have yellow, here we have black, we have white, and they are textured. So you see there's, I don't know, this is like giraffe or zebra, or whatever they were trying to show. This one is just the decorations. So when um, tissues are textured, that means they're added some things to do this texture and these addings are not good for our brushes so the best kind of tissues usually kleenex produce them are like this so you see that well we have a little texture here but this part is all smooth and flat and ideally that's what you should use for your brush so once you're done working you just need to wash it in a clean monomer and by the way, if you have a monomer that you don't like, let's say it's too fast or too slow setting, or I don't know, it just, just doesn't work for you, you can use it for cleaning. So I press here a little bit so I can clean the, uh, the handle, like this part. And then I rotate the brush so I will keep it like in a perfect sharp shape. And this is how we should store it. Brushes should be stored horizontally okay do not ever please keep them in a, um i've seen some people keep them in um like this because once you do that the monomer that's still in the bristles is going down and eventually is going to come here to the metallic handle and it's going to cause corrosion and this is why your brush may yellow your product. No, it's not the product that's bad. It's, you know, the brush that's turning it into yellow. Also, another important thing when storing your brushes, well, unfortunately, some brushes come without uh, a ha handle, like without the lid. So you may, maybe you can try to find one because usually a good quality brushes have it. And another important thing about the this, Thing like this one is by tones by the way another good product I can recommend to you it has this hole for the ventilation because once we're done working with the brush there's still a little monomer remaining and ideally it should be ventilated because I've seen some brushes with a handle which did not have a hole so I had to create one I have a whole bunch of NSI brushes with this um, hole and also if you're using color drops or colors or glitters I recommend you to you have different brushes for it well of course it may be a very kind of luxurious to have a brush for every single color it just you know I work for 16 years so obviously I have tons of brushes um, like this used to be my, a good brush, but over time it's not as good anymore, and then I turn it into a color brush. And also, you know, this is one of my oldest brushes. You see how terrible it looks like. So that's actually, I'm curious. Well, yeah, you see it's not sharp anymore, but it's still not bad. I mean, we still can use it for something. So you always need to have your good brush, like your clean brush that you use for uh, product application, for clear, for pink and white. And then, you know, a couple of brushes for um, colors, for glitter. You may probably notice that I used this one for black drops. I didn't use the same one. And after work, I'm also going to clean it in the monomer. So you see we have some black there and glitter, obviously. And then I do this again and then we have this perfectly sharp edge if your brush is not able to do this sharp well you see this brush is it is kind of good but it's not as sharp anymore as this one so whether i didn't keep it really well you know it was like the tip of the brush was touching something or maybe you know the brush is already not very good or some brushes are all like that from the beginning how bad is it for your health is the monomer smell while you breath it often as a nail technician i'm very careful with the questions like this because like i'm not a doctor i don't really think i am qualified enough to properly answer them uh, but all i know is that dust that we're breathing 
um, and many other things are also not very good for our health. So it's all about how we protect it. So we definitely need to uh, use masks whenever we work. Uh, like webinars are the only time when I do not use it, so you will, you will be able to hear me. But even when I record my regular YouTube videos, I'm always wearing a mask. I'm always wear gloves. You can also see it in all my videos. Mm, like ventilation, uh, disposing uh like acrylic um, tissues right away, you know, all these things. If you follow all these rules, I believe uh, this, uh, it will be minimized. It's really hard to say, you know, when I live in like a really big city, so whenever when I come out of the street, there's such traffic, you know, all this gas and vapors, it just, I don't know, it also feels like it's also not very good for our health. So. I think if we use all the protective measures available to us, um, I believe it's not that bad. Well, uh, what I say, uh, if it's not forbidden, right? I mean, if it would be that dangerous, I believe it will be um, not allowed to use it by now, right? So that's my opinion. Should brushes be crumpled? Yes, that's a personal preference. Yeah, it also really depends on what you're doing. Like, I prefer an oval shaped, uh, but sometimes, let's say if you're applying, if you're sealing the entire nail, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, if you're starting, just try any shape that you, um, that you have, and then over time you will understand which one do you like more. How to make your acrylic brush last for years. So now I showed you most of the tricks, so let's summarize them. Untextured, uncolored tissue, okay? No yellow fancy wipes, just regular Kleenex ones. They usually come in a box like this, you know, when you just pick the one. This one is, oh, this one's Zewa. Well, anyways, usually they come in the boxes like this, and these are like the best ones for our brushes. And I know they're usually more pricey than the regular ones. So what you can do, what I do, I just take any, any kind of whatever tissues we have and put this one on top. So the brush needs to touch only the smooth one, okay, not the textured one. Wash it in clean monomer. And please do not use brush cleaner because brush cleaners, basically it's acetone. And acetone, you know what it does, right? It's... Um, dissolving acrylic, which is nice if the brush is fully clogged, but it will also dissolve this natural um, ingredient that brushes have between their bristles that prevent acrylic from sticking to it. That's why you cannot take just any Kalinsky brush that's designed for painters and use it for acrylic. That's why, because it doesn't have this special um, coverage on top and acrylic is going to stick to it like right away. So once you use the brush cleaner, it's going to be dry and acrylic will keep sticking to it um, for the rest of its life. So if your brush is clogged too bad and there's no other way to fix it, well, yeah, use the brush cleaner and then eventually you may use it for glitters or anything. But it's not going to have this sharp edge anymore after the brush cleaner. Trust me, I uh, spoiled, I like messed up so many expensive brushes because of that. Use a cap with a hole for ventilation, store it horizontal, and use separate brush for colors, colored monomer and glitter. Do you wash your monomer dish? Honestly, not really. I can actually show you what I do because yeah, I, just, I need to get rid of this anyways. So once, I, once I'm done, uh, I just take the tissue like this, and are you guys ready for the sound? Another sound of money. <laughs> so I do this. When, if, if there is some loose glitter, you see there, there is a little bit. Yeah, sometimes then I wash it just with the water. Sometimes you can use soap. But normally, no. You know, I just clean it like this, and that's it. Usually that's enough. But if you use some colors or, you know, there's some pearls in it, then, yeah, you might um, 
need to do some additional washing. So I just spray some hand sanitizer to it sometimes when I'm too lazy to go wash it. And, you know, just clean it like this again.